Love is everything it's cracked up to be. That's why people are so cynical about it. It really is worth fighting for, worth being brave for, worth risking everything for. Love has nothing to do with what you're expecting to get, only with what you're expecting to give, which is everything. Alex often mentions that I bring the colour to his life, that I've changed how he previously viewed it all in grayscale, and that I really made it colourful. But I think he's shown me that the colour I'd always seen in our parents' love was actually possible. That it was out there and I just had to wait for it to find me. I want you to know that I will always put you first above anything else. I will love and honour and respect you in the way that you have shown me since the day we met. I thank God I was lucky enough to find you, and I can't wait for many, many joyous years ahead. Alex is the Scottish-born, English-raised, naturalized Canadian brother-in-law that I have always wanted. So one of my happiest memories recently I have of you, Alex, was when you told me you were going to propose to Beth. Watching you plan the proposal so perfectly was the most beautiful thing. Bethy just wanted it to be perfect. Alex, it was at that moment as I watched your eyes light up, talking about the future you saw together, seeing you envision her by your side for the rest of your life. I knew you were going to be the most wonderful husband. Beth has taught us, and I'm trying to prove, uh, prove personally in this area, to cherish the moments and time for people. Take the time to now, when you think about it, because you don't know when that opportunity will come again where you can share that time. So if you're thinking, gee, I should go over and hug that person, I should go talk to that person, Beth is the person to look up to in that regard. Amazing. Oh, you're so beautiful. Somewhere I love you. Beautiful on the outside, you're on the inside. Beautiful. Well, how about the good days? Beth, my beautiful bride. You look absolutely breathtaking today. I want to thank you for all your hard work that you've put into today. Your vision has truly come to life and it's even more stunning than I really could have imagined. Out with the sadness How long will I love you? To me, love is about finding someone who is perfect and just by being around them makes you want to be a better person. It's about finding someone that you not only admire and look up to, but someone that you put first before anything else without a second's hesitation. To me, love is you. You see the best in every person, every situation. And I feel incredibly lucky to call myself your husband. You so long that your tastes change. You say I like new things now, but I love you the same way. I want to love you too, we're old and gray. For the rest of our years. After my family met him, it was clear that Grandma approved. She told him he looked like a movie star the first time she met him, but her very first words that came out of her mouth were, Wow. Aren't you handsome? <laughs> Grandma had no shame. 93 years old. Yeah. I know that she was really proud of my choice in Alex and loved him and his family dearly. She would have loved to be here today, and I know she is. So can we all just share in a toast for Grandma? How about forever? Our love will be strong. Alex, I couldn't have asked for a better, amazing son. And I feel blessed that you were blessed to me from God. Thank you. I'm so happy that you found Beth. You have indeed chosen such a wonderful woman to be your wife. She is not only an exceptional businesswoman, she is caring and loving. Having seen Beth, born with Leela, we know she's going to be an amazing mother. And all of us have fallen in love with her. She is Aaliyah. 
Now, in Elizabeth Smith, he has found a wonderful, caring, loving woman that we're proud to have into our family as our daughter. How about forever? Our love will be strong. I love you for everything that you are and everything you're going to be. You're my version of perfect, and I wouldn't change you for anything. You are loyal and kind, considerate, caring, affectionate, sensitive, and extremely driven, to name a few. These qualities I recognize are hard to find. I promise to give you unconditional hugs when your days haven't gone well, <laughs> and when they have, <laughs> to always put you first and to be there for you no matter what life throws at us. I vow to love you with all that I have and all that I am, to be your best friend and the one you can always turn to. Beth, I promise to love you unconditionally and always be there for you for support and comfort, especially when you're stressing out. <laughs> I promise to respect you, stand by your side, and encourage you to achieve your dreams. I promise to always listen to you with compassion, a cuddle, and a kind word. I promise that even when things aren't going right, we'll work as a team to overcome any obstacle through thick and thin. I promise that I will love you for as long as I will live. On this day, I give you my heart, my soul, the rest of my life, tin roof. <laughs> you remind me daily that I deserve a love this special. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I promise to try hard every single day of my life to make sure that you feel the same. I love you today and always. XO. <laughs> <laughs> What really sold me with Alex was one specific moment where he worked a long day in Toronto and he worked really early the next morning but he drove all the way to Hamilton to the family home for 20 minutes because he missed Beth. He just wanted to hug her, you know? And to me that was like, yep, yeah, alright. <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> so. Couldn't be more happy for both of you, and I'm proud of you guys and everything you are and will be. And I love you. When I see the smile run across your face in the sunrise lights up another day, I believe. I believe. I woke up and my whole world changed. You're the kind of love that gives me.
towards the cafe the first time I met Alex three years ago, I saw a man who immediately stood out to me. Everything felt different. He was genuine and kind, and I saw that before our eyes even met. My first impression of him was helping an older woman to her seat and checking to see if my seat was dry from the rain falling around the patio. He did not know I was watching, and that speaks volume to his character. It was in that moment I knew something was about to change. I walked forward in the rain, grinning ear to ear with nervous anticipation, and met him for the first time. We laughed about everything and dug deep into the stuff that mattered. I remembered popping into the washroom, calling my mom and saying the words, um, I think he may be the one. They say you know when you know, and I knew.